Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Studio and Indie. In this video we introduce new type of materials designed to make your daily rendering work easier and faster. The Create New Material button now displays several new material types, along with the complete standard material. These new proxy materials are essentially simplified presets of our full-featured Maverick standard material. Let's dive in and start with a new basic material. Apply the new basic material to your object. This basic material features diffuse, specular, transmission and special channels. These features are the basis of many everyday materials. Next is the blend material, which is not a exactly a proxy but a special material to blend multiple other materials together. The blend material accepts any other material as input, such as the basic one we just created. Drag and drop it to the nodal editor to better see how it works. It supports up to four different materials, but you can connect different blends together to go further if needed. Add a new basic material per blend input. Click the order nodes icon to automatically lay out the nodal editor. You can also click on the collapse or the expend icons to close or open nodes. The blend material layers order is the inverse of what you may use to in Photoshop for example, the top layer is the master. This means that the next material in the list will hide every material before it, unless weight maps are used. But more on that later. Let's assign different colors to each blended material. So far only the fourth material is showing, as it occludes all the others like a layer in Photoshop. You can now control the amount of each material using their weight slider. If we weight the fourth layer to zero, we see the third layer. If we then weight the third layer to zero, we see the second layer, and so on. The weights can also be controlled by a map. It can be any Maverick map, like a checker for example. If we connect this checker map to the fourth material weight, the black parts of the map automatically makes it transparent and the white parts retain the fourth material. Alright, let's clear the nodal editor and move on to create an emissive material. The emissive material simply produces light, with intensity and color controls. The emissive coated material is similar, but features an extra layer of reflection. This material is ideal to create low intensity illuminated objects, like a screen for example. You can control the reflection weight, as well the the intensity using the IOR parameter. Next the gemstone material. This material is specially made to easily create gemstones and other kind of precious transparent materials. It features specular reflections, transmission and special. Simply changing the transmission color instantly gives you a beautiful gem. As a side note, the entire materials library has been updated to use these new proxy materials. For example the jewelry gemstones materials are using the gemstone proxy with physically correct colors. Let's continue with the glass material. It's very similar to the gemstone one, but the abbey parameter which controls the amount of dispersion is turned off. Next we have the Lambert material. The Lambert material is the simplest of all, with only the diffuse and special channels. Most of the time, it is not a suitable material for photorealism. Next we have the liquid material. It's also very similar to glass or gemstone materials with specular, transmission and special but it adds a subsurface scattering channel to create partially opaque liquids like juice, or milk. Again all the liquid materials presets in the library are made using this proxy. We then have the metal material. 
The metal color is controlled by the diffuse channel. If you are not familiar with PBR shading using the metalness workflow, look it up it's a very powerful method. This allows to create materials which are partially metal and partially something else, using a metalness map to determine which parts are metallic. Using the diffuse channel as a color input reduces the number of necessary maps. The metal coated one is roughly the same, but adds an extra layer of coating to create car paints and other lacquered or anodized metals. This allows to create a rough metal base, while retaining a shiny layer of lacquer on top. The coating and the metallic base also has independent roughness levels and IOR values. The coating reflection color can be set independently from the metal color. But a probably more interesting way is to use the coating tint parameter. The tint simulates the coating thickness and color absorption, creating a more intense coloring at glazing angles. Up next we have the plastic material, which is to create all kinds of reflective materials from polished to rough. This material features the diffuse, specular and special channels. The plastic advanced material adds several channels, such as coatings, transmission and subsurface scattering. This allows to create a wide variety of plastics ranging from fully opaque to transparent and everything in between. The material library plastic category was built using this material. The plastic coated proxy is similar to the plastic one, but adds the coating channel to create two layers of independent reflections. This is typically found in lacquered or varnished plastic materials. We also have the Shadow Catcher, which has been in Maverick since the beginning to integrate your objects on a background. The library floor objects are using the Shadow Catcher material. Next we have a skin material. It is pre-configured with an average skin color tone for diffuse and subsurface scattering. We also of course have our full standard material, from which all the proxies are derived. This material features everything and can simulate nearly every material of the real world. Next we have the translucent material, which mimics semi-opaque thin objects. It should normally only be used on objects without thickness, like it often happens for paper, leaves, curtains and other fabrics. Keep in mind to keep the translucent weight reasonable, or the material will transmit as much light as it reflects and becomes non-conservative. Finally the two-sided material, which lets you configure a different material for the outside and the inside of an object without thickness. Think of an egg shell, white inside and brown outside, or a paper page printed on only one side for example. We hope you will like these new proxy materials and that they will help you work more efficiently. That's all for this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.